There are more than 324 people needing rescue at one location. And if you zoom out, you can see very distant points where there might be special cases. What began as a traffic application at vntraffic.vn has now been transformed into a rescue map. The website thongtinkuho.org automatically scans, classifies and displays the locations of thousands of SOS messages from Facebook groups and pages directly on the map. By clicking on the red hotspots, users can access full rescue information, posting time and links to the original personal source. My wife and I were stuck for five hours on Chen Zuihung Street. When I went online, I saw people sharing so many photos and posts about flooded areas. But not everyone can find those posts in time. That gave me the idea to put all data on the map, so anyone heading out can check if their route is blocked or not. In less than one day, the rescue map attracted over 3,000 users, with volunteers working around the clock as flood waters rose to historic levels. At the moment, AI is helping us to aggregate and extract the data. But we also need people to make direct calls to verify whether someone really is in need or a rescue. This morning, according to the data I have, the number of SOS reports in Thái Nguyên has decreased by about 20 percent. Before, there was a new SOS almost every minute. From an idea born due to flood waters, the innovation of these two young engineers is becoming living proof of how technology can save lives in the most critical moments.